Hey guys, welcome to my page of No Excuses Liz. Most of you guys probably know me as Betsy or Elizabeth, so you're wondering where this No Excuses Liz comes from. This No Excuses Liz name com nickname comes from um, my coach who has inspired me onto this journey to health and fitness. But this journey did not come easily. It wasn't one day like, oh, I need to lose weight and make myself feel better. No, not the goal, not at all. So I'm gonna just give you a little bit of my history. Um, in 2004, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis, which was absolutely a life-changing diagnosis. Um, I was just so sick, I was in the hospital, I was failing all my classes because my health was so bad, so it was like, my parents were like, either take time off for the rest of your education, and I was failing all my classes, so I'm like, I guess I'll take time off. And my health kept getting worse. I ended up having an emergency colectomy, and I ended up with an ostomy. And once I got my ostomy, I felt like a stranger in my own body. I wanted nothing to do with my body, I wanted just to just give up, not live anymore, etc. And I ended up hospitalized for a very long time for psychiatric reasons and just absolutely miserable. And then I got my colon, my um, pouch reversed, and so I got a J pouch, an internal J pouch. I kept getting refractory pouchitis, getting so sick. I'll always remember right before I got reversed, my doctor was like, I don't know if we can do it this soon. I was like, no, you are going to reverse me. I am done living like a stranger in my own body, I want to feel better. So he reversed me, and then I had some complications, and I coded at one point, and he was like, um, I think we might have to reverse you back to your ostomy. I was like, no way. Absolutely no way. So I was kind of determined to change, but not quite. And I asked my doctors again, you know, will going dairy-free or um, gluten-free help? And they're like, no, there's no been no proven studies, yada, yada, yada. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I won't. Um, you know, I had spouts where I would try gluten-dairy-free, but nothing like... I wasn't really committed. Then on January of last year, I was diagnosed with primary sclerosis and cholangitis, which is a disease of my bile ducts in my liver, and I was told I eventually might need a liver transplant. So that kind of freaked me out a little bit, and I called my sister about 10 minutes after I had been diagnosed, and she suggested I go see a naturopath doctor. And I was like, I don't know. She's like, no, I'm done with you calling me when you end up in the hospital. I'm just done with that. Like, you need to do something for you. So I was like, okay, I guess I'll do something. So I went to see this doctor, and she's like, oh, gluten, dairy, and yeast-free, because that's what showed up as allergens. And so I was like, okay, I guess I'll do that. And I, you know, go dairy and gluten, yeast-free for a while. I was feeling great. I had a little back in. I was feeling meh. I didn't really have anything to commit to. I was just like, okay, I guess it helps, sort of, whatever. So I was kind of, I would end up back in the hospital here or there, but nothing, it was not nearly as much. So I knew I was doing something right, right? Then on Christmas Day this year, well, 2014, um, my fiancé now, we're getting married on April 9th um, of 2016, proposed to me after a day of skiing. And during the day of skiing, I couldn't keep up with him. We got to the flat parts, and I was like, kind of need to do something, you know? And then that night when he proposed to me, I was like, I really, really need to do something. I want to be able to feel like me again. I want to be able to feel happy and healthy and be able to walk you know, five blocks without fear of going to the bathroom, want to get over my fear of taking public transportation, just want to feel good, you know, feel good about myself. So when we got back and I showed everyone, told everyone on Facebook, you know, you're engaged, blah, 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 a beach body coach reached out to me and she suggested Pio, which is Pilates and Yoga Max. And I was like, I don't know if I can do this. So I go, you know, YouTube videos, see if I could maybe do it. And I couldn't do it. I couldn't do any of the exercises. They would say, do a plank, and I would just fall down to my face. They would say, do this, and I would just couldn't do it. I wasn't flexible enough. I just over heavy. I wasn't happy. It was just not good. It wasn't strong enough. So I looked, Googled plus size modifications, and I came across my coach, Tulin Emery, who has been an absolute lifesaver. I immediately, a couple weeks later, you know, reached out to her. We talked. We figured out that Insanity Max 30 would be the best um, workout program for me. And so we... Signed me up and I joined a challenge group and I was like, I don't know if I can do this, I can't do anything. And when I originally started, I was modifying the modifiers. I was doing planks and push-ups on the walls. Now I could do a full plank and I can hold it for probably about 30 seconds or so and I can do push-ups on my knees, which is like amazing, amazing. Like maybe I can do one or two regular push-ups and the rest are push-ups on my knees. Versus before I could, couldn't even do it on my knees. I could barely do it on the wall and it was just so hard. So I've become so much stronger and so much happier. My pouchitis has gone into remission which is absolutely amazing because I don't think since I got my J pouch that I've had pouchitis in the remission. Um, I have, my bursitis has also gone to remission. I can walk blocks and blocks and blocks now without having to fear that I'm going to have to 
go to the bathroom or my joints hurting. I was actually recently talking to a friend who was like, I remember last semester, I would say, walk, let's walk to that building. And I'd be like, you'd be like, nope, it's too far. Let's walk to my car's parked here. Walk with me and then walk back. Nope, that's too far. But now I'm like, oh, I'll walk you to your car and then walk to my car. No problem. Because I can walk. I can move. I don't have fear of going to the bathroom anymore. I just, I feel so much better. I'm like off of most of my antidepressants um, because exercise has become my antidepressant. You know, my fiance is like, if I'm in a bad mood, like, go to yoga, go exercise. And I go exercise and I feel so, so much better. So honestly, just this page is to just exchange recipes, exchange fitness tips. If you want more information on the changes that have made me a better me, feel free to reach out. But otherwise, just stop by and, you know, I'm going to offer some fitness tips in the next couple weeks. I'm going to be doing some clean eating groups um, as long as, as well as eventually a challenge group. So I'd love for you just to reach out to me, ask me any questions you have, or drop me a line. Um, I'd love to learn more about you and learn more about your needs, but as well as just share my story and hold myself accountable.